François Pinot is the founder of one of the largest holdings in the fashion and luxury business. He started from extremely humble beginnings and now owns worldwide recognized brands such as Gucci and Balenciaga. He was born in 1936 in champs Gérault, a small town in the extreme northwest of France. He started from his rural town. His father was involved in the timber trading business. He went to school until 16, when he dropped out and started getting more involved in the family business. In 1956, he enlisted in the army and left France to go combat the Algerian war, when Algerians fought for the independence from colonial France. He later got back and sold the family business after his father passed away. In 1962, he had his first marriage, which would later finish in 1967. But he had three sons. One of these is François Henry, the current CEO of Caring. He later got remarried in 1970. He started his first business in 1963, a wood trading business. Did well, and he started acquiring several businesses in the same field, mostly troubled ones and fixed them. He started a pricing war in order to face less competition. Due to the high leverage, he was pushed by the bank Credit Lyonnais to sell his business in 1973 for 25 million francs. After the sale, he invested big in commodities, especially in sugar. In that period, saw an enormous price surge and he was able to buy back his company, Pinault SA. In the oil shock times, his strategies to decrease prices worked because many of his competitors either suffered or went bankrupt. He also got the possibility to buy furniture producer Brunzel for pennies on the dollar. In 1986, he got the chance to buy Pinault's producer company, Iseroy, for the for the symbolic amount of one franc. He later invested in the troubled company and fixed it. He invested around 270 million francs of his own and 130 million of public money. In 1988, Pinault SA got listed on the Paris stock market. In 1989, he bought the company CFAO a company involved in the trading of industrial products in the former French colonies. In 1991, he bought the furniture store chain Conforama from Bernard Arnault, the, C the CEO of LVMH, which I've also covered, so make sure to check that out and, subs and subscribe to the channel. Arnault was restructuring his holding and Pinot got to buy Conforama as well. He got to buy La Redoute, a clothing and furnishing chain, and FNAC, books and electronics retailer. That's why he renamed his company PPR, which stands for Pinot, Printemp, and Redoute. In 92, he created Artemi, the company that would manage the Pinot family investments. This company also controls several vineyards, both in France and California. In 1997, Artemi bought French magazine Le Point and the notorious auction house Christie's in 1998. In this period, Pinot started to shift his interest towards luxury and fashion. With his company PPR, bought a 42% controlling stake in Gucci for $3 billion and the Maison Yves Saint Laurent. In 2000 and 2001, he bought Balenciaga, Alexander McQueen, and jewelry maker Boucheron. In 2003, he left his position as CEO to his son, François Henry, who continued to make acquisitions. The company later changed his name once again from PPR to Kering in 2013. He collects fine art from artists such as Mondrian and Picasso, and still living artists such as Daniel Hurst, the guy which made art pieces with, with sharks and other animals, and one was sold to hedge fund manager Stephen Cohen, which I later cover, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't done it yet.
He also opened several museums, two in Venice and one in Paris. He also gave lots of money for charity. He gave money for the reforestation of Brittany after the wildfires in 1990. He made a big donation to restore Victor Hugo's house, one of the most important writers in French literature, and pledged 100 million euros to restore Notre Dame after the wildfires of 2019. This is it for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and like the video because it's very important since we just started out. If you want to support us, you can do it either through PayPal or by doing your regular shopping on Amazon after clicking one of the links down below. I wish you all a good day and see you the next time.